And then from my K Vintners Winery, I brought uh, the K Syrah. You were asking me earlier why the K. Well, like I said, I wanted it to be a symbol that people could recognize, pronounce, and remember. Right. But then again, I do make Syrah, so if you're going to pick any letter alf alphabet, it should be K. Okay. So it, it's the K Syrah, and this is uh, from uh, Washington State, of course, as well, where I make and my wine. And this has a cork, so this is going to be more expensive? Uh, a little bit. But uh, How much? Yeah, uh, this is $30 a bottle. Okay. Um, it is a barrel-aged, beautiful, single vineyard Syrah. Um, and it's fermented with the stems. And you're like, well, why would you put the stems in there? The stems are very aromatic, and they help add structure to the wines. And that's not even just to be technical. It's just, it's just something about all, being all-inclusive. It's kind of like uh, roasting a chicken. Uh -huh. If you roast a chicken whole with the bones, it's much more flavorful right, versus right. just you know roasting a chicken uh -huh. breast. So it's the same thing. By having the stems with the grapes adds more complexity, more aromatic, and more nerve to the wine, and therefore more flavor and more pleasure for us to enjoy it. That's great. So, and you like to serve this with cheese? Oh, I love, um, especially with the hard uh, aged uh, cheeses, they're really, really nice. Um, they go really, really well together. And so I brought some aged Gouda, mm. which is absolutely delicious to go with the... Uh, Are these both the same thing? I think this is a younger Gouda, uh, but I think really the best pairing for sure is a more hard aged cheese, depends on your particular flavor that you enjoy, but it goes really, really well with a firm, uh, deep red wines. This one's better on the left. Isn't it the delicious? Older one. Mm -hmm. mm, absolutely. Everything's one thing better about, older. Exactly. That's what I keep telling my husband. I'm sure he believes you. <laughs> um, and the one thing that's great about cheese, you can find good cheese in every, in every city, in every market. And it's such a luxury to have a beautiful cheese, and they're not necessarily expensive. Mm -hmm. I mean, having a nice piece of cheese, a nice piece of bread, and a bottle of wine, what more do you need? That's it. And now, that's what they say. Mm. That is delicious cheese. Should we do this thing again? Yeah, let's swirl our wine again. That gets the air in there, right? Exactly. Opens up the aromatics. Okay, here we go. And cheers to you. Excellent. That's really excellent. But you know how the, the cheese kind of softens the wine? Mm -hmm. They're kind of made for each other. Yeah. And the, the wine you know, on its own is just very That's aromatic delicious. and beautiful. And the cheese is delicious. And this and is a thirty-dollar bottle. It's a thirty-dollar bottle of wine, but it's well worth it. I mean, it's it's it's, it's great with lots of. I like red food. wine with my Thanksgiving dinner. I do too. I really one do. thing about Thanksgiving dinner, there's absolutely no rule for it because the food on the table is so different. <laughs> I know. And you just drink what you like. Right. And um, I love Syrah. I think it's a very versatile grape. It's delicious, and um, it goes with pretty much all types of food. Great.